You are lucky. Sick. <laughs> Frank and Adrian are in the studio all the way from Bloom. Hi, guys. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Remember when I was new in town I always walked straight with my head down yeah, They didn't even try to figure me out Until you came around yeah, Everyone thought that okay. I played Canadians ball Canadians from Canada in Canada. It's not, it's That's not so cool that you guys say that, Canada. I, like I love that, but yeah, we know, we don't can say Canada. I'm gonna get that tattooed on my chest. Yeah, Canada. Because I'm from Brackman, I didn't finish school. It sounds like Narnia, Canada. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. I don't need a lot. I don't need a range. I just want love, a little bit of pain. I just need you, your company. I just need you, your ecstasy. How many guys are here with one of your best friends right now? I mean, uh, when I first started writing music, I asked my mom, why does this suck? And she like replied and said I didn't have any friends and don't do anything. So, uh, Like I said, uh, before I met Adrian, I didn't really have much friends, so he's the first person to take me to a house party. It was pretty crazy. and I didn't know you could have a family outside of your family. That was, so <laughs> he introduced me to that. And, uh, but we, we had a nice parents went away for like three months and we had a proper drill. <laughs> When I was a kid, I went to the beach once with my friends, and then the kids decided it'd be funny to throw me in the ocean. Yeah. I can't swim, and they just picked me up and threw me down. It was I didn't know it tasted like salt and stuff. Yeah. I didn't know any of that stuff. And then I opened my mouth while I was just underwater, and just like it's it like destroyed, destroyed me. And I, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. I, I just hate the beach. I never went back again. Yeah, that's the same thing. What kind of friends were those? Yeah. Like? Water's warmer than I like here. Yeah. I'll hold you. So this is what Tor is. Tor is, Tor is you go to very beautiful places for like five seconds. <laughs> hey, what's up Neon Dreams, Frank, Adrian, and of course the amazing Leva. Thank you dude, thank you so much for uh, coming out here. I'm so glad I got to meet you and work a bit with you guys. You guys are super talented. I just wanted to say a big thank you for choosing our country to share your beautiful talent with. It's been so amazing having you here. My friends and I were lucky enough to see you live and I think they'll all agree with me that it was one of the best, if not the best live show we've ever seen. <laughs> He's protecting everybody in their sleep right now. So everybody say thank you. I just you. want to say though, that life without the MTC, that's what I said to him, I couldn't even read the traffic because I was so into the song. I didn't know where I was in the traffic at that moment. Because it's this kind of song that just stirs up memories that you didn't even know you had. <laughs> it's beautiful and it brings out so much emotion. So when it comes to love, I promise you, just find someone that has your blind spots in love. Hey. Got my blind spot. It's a song. That's a song, bro. You, you wash my blind spots. Just enjoy life. Just enjoy life. Just enjoy life. Can you do your best impression of my Can I have some order? <laughs> West, all the way from South Africa. I'm 20 years old and I am South African artist. So when Frank first contacted me to perform with him, I was so so excited and they just included me and made me feel like family and at home every with every show. So the reason I think South Africans like Neon Dreams is because their music is current and relatable and they are down to earth and it was such a big privilege to share the stage with them. My name is Mtanda Zogakia. I'm a singer, a songwriter, and a performing artist all the way from South Africa in Johannesburg. They were going viral in South Africa, uh, Viral 50 on Spotify. Um, whenever I was number one, they were number two. Whenever I was number two, they were number three. And this one time they decided that they should check out the song that has been giving them a challenge, you know, moving uh, to number one. And 
yeah, they gave Senzeni a chance, they fell in love with it, and they kind of like understood why the song had to, you know, be on the viral charts. <laughs> it's so good. Ah, oh, his voice, his voice. Oh my God. Strom. Where do you strom, 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 strom. Pot chef strom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strom. Pot chef strom. Pot chef strom. Pot chef strom. <laughs> We're giving away tickets to Pot Chef Stroom. <laughs> <laughs> got a band coming out to Pot no, Chef Stroom. Coming on South <laughs> Africa. Come on out. We're playing some music. Know, first, Pot Chef Stroom. <laughs> Wow. And for whatever reason, this morning I woke up. I was like, I'm gonna start counting them. And I was like in bed. I got in the shower and I just started yeah. went through every single tour date. I went through my emails. I went through Master Tour. <laughs> I was like, Whoa, today's 100. <laughs> After being here in South Africa, it, like I realized like there's like this, this heartbeat, you know, like there's a diff different rhythm here. We somehow channeled that frequency of South Africa in that song. And uh, that song is just about me realizing, you know, the simple things in life are going to keep me happy. And that's, you know, friendship and the company of people I love and care about. Sing it, sing it. I don't need a high, I don't need a range. I just want to love and a little bit of pain. I just need you, your company. I just need you, your Africans is that once we're united, there's just no separating us. And I feel like that's exactly what Neon Dreams did. You know, life without fantasy is just, it brought so much unity. It was, it was absolutely beautiful. I want to see you come up next to me. Legend. See a new color. 